Okay, so response to Meishu Nian Nian. Um, so why do we build Frozen Heart on Nautilus? So, number one, Frozen Heart on Nautilus, you need the mana. Nautilus just needs mana from any of his items. So, like, if we go into the item page here, we look at all the mana items in here. Like, you do have some options in here for mana. Um, you know, Righteous Glory exists. Don't go Iceborne Gauntlet, don't do that. Um, Righteous Glory, Frozen Heart, do 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 Abyssal Mask. Is that really it? Are there not more mana items in here? Huh. Anyway, Nautilus needs mana. Nautilus just uses up a lot of mana, because Riptide costs a lot of mana, and since you max it first, the mana cost goes through the roof with it. Um, you use Titan's Wrath a lot as well, so again, you really need mana on Nautilus. Now, you can go Righteous Glory on Nautilus. I think that's an okay buy. Um, but the thing about Righteous Glory is that Righteous Glory is a very health-heavy item, um, which is fine. Health is okay. Uh, the stats on it are okay-ish. The thing about this, though, is that Righteous Glory is really heavily weighed on its active. Um, the active of Righteous Glory is really the make-or-break point with this item. Um, which, I mean, some people are okay with that, but I like Frozen Heart, because Frozen Heart is unique in that not only are we satisfying the mana problems that Nautilus has, but you have 20% cooldown reduction. 20% cooldown reduction is really, really important on Nautilus, because, again, you're spamming Riptide like crazy, so cooldown reduction is going to give you more damage, but secondarily, it's going to mean more hooks, it's going to mean more shields, it's going to mean your ultimate being off cooldown a lot earlier, because that ultimate has a long fucking cooldown, you and I both know that. Um, being able to get your shield up a little bit earlier in a team fight can make the difference between being able to turn around in a team fight and all that stuff um in my mind a high cooldown reduction build is really important on nautilus which is why i said you should go for aspect of the remnant and go for this item um also when you're building this go for glacial shroud first because again you need the um you need the cooldown reduction um righteous glory is fine i think it's okay if you're going to go it, I think you need to have a good plan in mind for how it goes. But bear in mind that Frozen Heart is not much more expensive than it. It's like 50 gold more than Righteous Glory. Uh, so, like, whatever. Um, the other thing I don't like about Righteous Glory is that the stats on it are kind of splashed all over the place. I don't really value base health regeneration, like, at all. I think it's kind of a waste. Um, so you're wasting money on that, in effect. So Frozen Heart just feels more cost-efficient. And like I said in my post, you have health from Sightstone, and you have all the health that you're getting from your shield that you're spamming all the time to reinforce the fact that, despite the fact that this item has no health on it, it has so much armor. Like, this item has, like, almost twice the armor of any other item in the game. It's kind of disgusting how far you can go with the Frozen Heart. Um, that's why I said that you should go it. Um, what you build on Nautilus really doesn't matter. If you like active items a lot, like, if you really like Righteous Glory, or anything, go for it. Um, I don't think Zeke's Convergence is good. Um, I, I just don't think this is a good item. Nautilus needs health. And, I mean, you could go, like, you could go Zeke's Convergence, but then after you go with this item, you need to go a health item. So your combo of going Zeke's Convergence into Locket, that doesn't work, because these two items beg for health to start working. Sightstone takes you so far, but doesn't take you far enough. Um, Zeke's Convergence, again, is an item that's really, or, this is an item that's really heavily reliant on your ultimate, and Nautilus just doesn't spam his ultimate. Like, I only see Zeke's Convergence as being super viable on, like, Leona, because Leona doesn't really have a cooldown on her ultimate. But Nautilus Nautilus does. Um, secondarily, I don't tend to engage with my ultimate. I tend to engage by running up to people and hitting them. And then you use your ultimate halfway through with whatever you're doing. Um, so I, I just don't see this item as being like super duper good. But if you find that it's good for you, go ahead. Um, again, my justification is that, hey, I want lots of resistances. I want 20% cooldown reduction. And I want um, mana. Um, Decent Versions almost satisfies that. But Frozen Heart completely satisfies that. And Frozen Heart is really fucking good um, with its passive too. It's passive uh, um, layers well with Randu and Zoman because they don't um, overlap. So if you're, if you're up against a really strong enemy ADC, you go like Frozen Heart, Ninja Tabi, and Warden's Mail, that ADC is going to be fucking sad. That ADC is going to be really, really, really fucking sad. Um, and, as, and then, as I said before, like, if you need magic resist options, you can go for, like, Locket late game. Um, as I was saying before, Locket requires health. So, you need to have another health item in your, um, in your kit for Locket to start working, right? Like, if we look at it, Magrez, Armor, Locket the Iron Solari, Right? It scales with your bonus life. So if you build this into Zeke's Convergence, its shield is pitiful. It's it's absolutely pitiful. Um, so, that's why. Um, I hope that satisfies your question. It's, I found that it was easier to do this than to like actually go and post, because it's a lot to say. So, there you go, bud.